Today I'm here to tell you that weight loss is not a event. It's not something that happened just one time. I'm here actually to tell you that weight loss is a lifestyle. Probably you know that. If you don't know that, here you are. But I'm going to give you details about it because it's very important that you know all this information. I have a client that she actually was struggling with a lot with weight loss back in the past. Right now she's been very successful with us. She has been training with us for a year and a half. And the first thing that she noticed that actually is a lifestyle. There's going to be a many events in your lives. So you need to figure out what you want from life. I know you want to be happy. I know that you want to be successful. I know that you want to have a nice body. You probably want to have a united family. You want a lot of things in life and everything is okay to have and you can have it all. But the one thing that you have to understand is that you have to pay, pay the price. And paying the price is not difficult. It's very simple. You have to keep a couple points in mind. Thing, the first thing is you need to think about what you're going to be doing every day to get there. There is a lot of distractions out there, a lot of distractions. There is a lot of things that you can do in the, in the internet. There is a lot of things that you can find on Facebook. You can go to television and, and find a lot of programs that you like. You can go with your friends and just waste your time. You can talk about trivial things. And I'm not saying that all that is bad. I'm not saying that you should not be allowed to do all of that, all of that or any of that. What I'm telling you is that it's a lot of distractions that are going to take you away from the goal that you have set up. Weight loss is only a block of the whole one that you're building in your life in general. You can, you should not be focusing only on weight loss your whole life in general and just put all your energy there because you can, you're going to hurt in other areas of your life. So find out what you want in your career, find out what you want in your family, find out what you want to do for hobbies, find out how you're going to grow personally, your personal development, find out how you want your profession to grow, find out all that. And once you find that out, what you need to do is put all together and every day work towards that, every single second, minute, hour, day, week that you, that you put in to, towards your goal, it's going to get you closer. So there is no reason for you to actually drop your weight loss program. If you having a difficult moment with your family, you're getting divorced, you're moving out of your house and moving to a different house. If you in your career, you're not doing amazing because you need to get another degree, because you need to pass a couple courses, because you need to learn something, because you need to change career, whatever it is, you can still focus on your weight loss because it's part of your life. It's not the only thing that you focus in, it's part of your life. The same thing with your career, because your career is not doing well, you can't be focused your whole life there because then your family suffers, your weight loss suffers, everything else, your financial suffers, everything else suffers. So you can't focus there 100%. You have to give it their space, their time, and make sure you manage that. Every single day you have to manage your day and make sure you put enough time on it and make sure the time that you put it into, in, in, and to doing that work is going towards your goal. So that's the first thing that you have to learn. The weight loss is not an event. It's something that you need to do every day and you have to maintain it. Once you develop those habits, everything is going to, be, it's going to become easy. It's just like driving a car, and a standard car. I don't know if you, you have to drive a, a stick shift car. Back in the past when I learned how to drive, I, I drive in a stick shift. And I remember how difficult it was for me to think about the stick, think about the clutch, think about the brake, about the celebration, about the mirrors on the side, about focusing in front. I didn't know what to do. I stalled the car many times. And my first day I wasn't very successful. Why? Because I needed to learn all the patterns. Right now, I can drive a standard car, no problem. And the reason why, because my body has mastered that and knows how to do it. And every single time you do something new, your body needs to master it to actually become easy in the future. If you don't know how to master if you haven't mastered it, you have to think about it every day. So for you not to think about it every day, master it. And that's gonna take time. So the first couple weeks, the first month, maybe even 
second month is going to be difficult for you because you don't know what to do the whole thing. But once you master it, once you have a plan, once you do that every day, it's going to be automatic. And this is going to lead me to the second point that I want to talk about, your thoughts. We talk a lot about positive thinking, about controlling your thoughts. We talk about what's in your mind is what, you cre what creates you, who you are is your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs and your standard is a reflection of your body and that's completely true, there is nothing wrong with that. But one thing that sometimes we forget to tell you as a professional is that your thoughts is just like a muscle, your brain is just like another muscle. When you're lifting weights or when you're learning to drive or when you're doing something, it takes time for you to go from one level to another. So for example, if you're lifting 15 pounds and you want to go to the 20, 25, you're not going to do it right away. You need to build that muscle to be able to do it little by little until you get there. The same when you're learning how to do new stuff that I just explained, you need to learn a step by step how to get there. And it becomes very easy, little by little, the same thing with your thoughts. If you have negative thoughts that you can control in the beginning, of course, you're not going to be able to control it overnight. Those negative thoughts are going to come out all the time. Those are like weeds on the garden, okay? Or like your house when you clean it and it, and it gets all mess, it, it becomes a mess again. That's because that's natural. That's natural. There is weeds coming out, there is disaster, and you have to come and put order on it. And when you put that order, it's like cleaning your house when it's a mess, removing those weeds out of your garden. They come natural. The same with your negative thoughts. You're not crazy. Those negative thoughts are going to come natural, naturally. But you have to train your brain to overcome those negative thoughts. You need to be aware. You need to be conscious about the fight that you're having internally. And it's okay because in the beginning it's going to be like just like lifting weights. Just like doing something new, it's gonna be tiring. You're gonna get tired. You're probably gonna, you probably, it will cross your mind to give up because it's not something easy. But if you do it every day, every day, every day, be conscious of those negative thoughts that you have and once you discover them, because they come very often, if you are a very negative person, you're gonna notice that you always, saw, always, always telling yourself negative things. And as soon as you catch that negative thing, you need to overcome it with something positive. So here is an example. Today I'm so tired, I can do this. Right away, tell yourself, no, I can do this. It's very possible, I have the energy. My day is gonna end, doesn't end right now. It ends, whatever your day ends, eight or nine or 10 p.m. But make sure you tell yourself that, oh, I have to finish this, how tiring. No, don't tell yourself that. Do the opposite, say, I know I can finish this. I'm gonna be able to do it. Or if you think about yourself, I, I'm not capable to, did it, to do this, go the opposite, say, okay, right now I'm not capable, but I will do it, I will try it, I will do it someday, I will be able to do it, I will become capable of doing this. So when you have those negative thoughts, you need to fight them. And something as an experienced person, I used to be very, very negative back in the past, I can tell you right now I'm very positive and people understand that, people around me, they notice that and they notice because that's who I am but it wasn't overnight, I didn't born like this. Those weeds, those negative thoughts that came into my head many times and I just fight them every day, every day because I learned this. Right now it's very, not very often that I have negative thoughts but they do come into my head. But I know the secret that I'm telling you right now. I'm not the recipe. You need to find them right away. You need to get them out of your head. You have to let them. You have to let them know that you're more powerful than that. And as you develop that, it's gonna become easier. So think about it. If every anything in life is becoming difficult in any area of your life, and your weight loss is an example, and you're giving up, you need to be, start being aware of those stats and fight them. And remember, your weight loss shouldn't be an event and should be difficult, it should be a sacrifice. It should be part of your life, you should enjoy it and start looking at the positive side for your weight loss and your life in general. Think about all the rewards you're gonna get from it. Forget about how painful it is. So those are the two points right there. The first one is don't make a weight loss a event, make it a lifestyle, make it part of you, enjoy it. And the second point is Control your thoughts, start controlling those thoughts to overcome difficulty 
And remember that everything that you do in life, always do your best and do it with love. Not only you're gonna feel happier, it's gonna contribute to your happiness, but at the same time other people will notice it and it will fulfill your life.